another video. So today is another foodie kind of video. If you don't know by now, me and Jacob both like his grub. So today we've got another food video and I will just show you what it is. And also show you Jacob. <laughs> there it is. There's his box. So we're trying HelloFresh this week. There was a 50% discount on our first box so we decided to go for it and this cost us was it 1995 yeah. just a bit less than 20 pounds for five meals for two people so i don't think that's too bad no. i think that's quite good so we're gonna be showing you what we got because we got to choose which recipes we wanted this week as you do with hello fresh so we will show you what we got and we'll also show you us cooking it and how it turned out because people say that HelloFresh is really easy to make stuff to a very high quality so we'll see if we can do that as well probably not <laughs> <laughs> so here is the contents of the package you can see i've just set out with the recipes so we have got Mexican style cheesy chicken burger, just a normal cheeseburger, heavy pork ragu, roast potato, bacon and crispy kale salad, beef chili quesadillas, which I am looking forward to. So in each recipe it gives you a picture of what it should look like so you can base your meal off of it. And it also gives you a list of the ingredients that you'll need and obviously they'll be in each packet. So there are all his meals for the week. We're going to start today because it's Monday. And another thing is this packet here. So this is all the kind of fresh stuff. So the meat that we will need. And it's in some kind of insulated wrapping, which is good. So we've unpacked all the other meals now. But we've got the one that we're going to have today. So today we're having... Mexican style cheesy chicken burger. It looks delicious. So I'm gonna unpack this one on camera just so you have a look at what it's actually like. So in the fresh pack that I showed you that was insulated, there was the chicken thighs and some cheese to melt on top. And then in the box were some burger buns. And then you can see on the recipe that there's a number seven, which tells us that that is this bag. So if we open it. So in this bag, we've got some mayo, some potatoes, some chipotle sauce, a tomato, a lime, and an avocado, which looks way overripe. So that's what we're going to make today. So we're just going to get started. It says that... It should take 35 minutes, it's medium spice and it's two of your five a day. finished product everyone I'm just gonna put on the the top of the burger bun I think that's how it goes oh look at that do you see that oozing out so it's Tuesday night and Jacob's just sorting out the potatoes he's parboiled them and put some flour in the pan as well just to make them fluffy and then they'll be crispy when they come out finally um but today we are having roast potato bacon and crispy kale salad so i think it looks quite nice i think this is the one that we're least excited for <laughs> but we've got the potatoes cooking while about to go in we've got some red onion 
some carrots. It said not to peel them, so we're going to try it like that. And then we've got some grated garlic as well. Flaked almonds for on top, and then the bacon's just in the fridge at the moment. So in they go. I'll show you when it's done. Jacob's just gonna put it all in a bowl to dress it. It does sound very crispy. <laughs> Christ. Mmm, yum. And luckily for us, we have about five lardons <laughs> to go into this bad boy. <laughs> in go the roasties. To be fair, they look delicious. Here goes. Where are you putting all? Yeah, it's like balsamic and honey. Oh, is it? Mm. Look at that. Juicy. Smells delicious to me. Yeah, it does smell like that, actually. Right. It smelled really like garlic when you started putting it out, and now it just smells like balsamic. Yeah. Mm. Right. Delicious. Get the plate. <laughs> so today's Wednesday, and we have decided to have the Herbie Pork Ragu. So this is what it's supposed to look like. We'll see if we can actually recreate that at the end. And again, we've got the ingredients and Jacob's got everything out. So we're just ready to prepare it now. Go on then. Buzzing. <laughs> so here's the finished product. Ooh, I think it looks quite good. It smells really good. I didn't know if it was going to be nice with pork rather than beef, but yeah, to this part, it's really good. So, yeah, so that's how it is, and that's what it looks like on the recipe. You get so much as well, like, look at the plateful. <laughs> anyway, we will see you tomorrow for cheeseburgers mm. Mm. <laughs> are we recording <laughs> day four burgers <laughs> so today we're making the cheeseburgers it looks so good with some wedges and some coleslaw we've got its ingredients there again all the instructions on the back as well as the nutritional guide tells you about macros and everything and then here are all the actual ingredients obviously there's the beef but that's in the fridge at the moment keeping cool and potatoes behind yeah and the potatoes behind because jacob's just washed them ready but um we've got his breadcrumbs tomato ketchup mayo and a salad with coleslaw and then the burger buns oh yeah and the cheese that's also in the fridge yeah. because you can have a cheeseburger with no cheese and then the potatoes for the wedges. So we're gonna get started. Okay, they're ready. There are the wedges again. Put a bit of fry light on them. There's the breadcrumbs. It's my sauce. Here's the finished product, everyone. Let me get some light on it. There it is. I don't think that looks too bad. Where's the picture? The comparison. The wedges are definitely not the same, but the burger looks pretty close. Mm. 
Where's the cheese? That is not a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's because we're used to having all the amount. So there we go. And tomorrow is the last night of HelloFresh. Mm -hmm. And Goodbye it's... Fresh. <laughs> Goodbye Fresh. And we're having chili beef quesadillas. Can you wait? Day five, quesadillas. Tonight we have beef chili quesadillas. I've been buzzing for this. So let's just crack on. Let's get on with it because Jacob's wasting away. Here's the finished product for the last time this week. We only ended up doing three quesadillas because we didn't think there was enough meat to actually put in it. Which I think was a good call. Because we've both got one and a half now. And there's a lot more meat in it than they probably intended. Which we would prefer. We've made the salad which they included all the ingredients for. Which is just lettuce and tomatoes. Very exotic. Mm -hmm. And then we we actually thought that it wasn't going to be very filling, so we made chips as well. <laughs> but I don't think we needed the chips. So that's it for this week. We will see you in our review. So it's the end of the week now, and we just thought that we should do a roundup of what we thought of HelloFresh. So I think we're going to give our thoughts on the service we received and the food that we got. So I think I'll start. So with regards to the service we received, ooh, it wasn't quite good. <laughs> so um, we placed our order and it was due to come on Saturday, but on Saturday, the tracking said that it had been delayed to Sunday. And then on Sunday, we received an email saying that it had been completely like canceled for Sunday. They were having to make a whole new box up and we would receive it Monday, which obviously would be an issue because both me and Jacob work throughout the week. So I emailed them back to tell them that that wouldn't be acceptable because no one would be in and would it be able to be redirected to my parents' house. And we received no reply to that, which I don't think is very good customer service. So it wasn't that good on that front. And then when I checked the tracking on Monday morning, it had been delivered and I'll actually put a picture here of where it was delivered. It was delivered behind the green bin on a main road. So it was only by chance that it was still there eight hours later when I came home from work. So the service wasn't too good, but in my opinion, the food was quite good. We had 50% off, so for that amount of money, I think it was quite okay. But if we were paying full price, I definitely think that it was definitely overpriced for what we got, because you could quite easily make it with ingredients you buy from the shop. And we probably will now that we have the recipes, we'll just go out and get the ingredients and make it. So that's my thoughts on HelloFresh. What do you think? Is that it? So overall, uh, food-wise, we'll go with... We won't talk about service because we've just spoke about that. Mm -hmm. So that aside, um, I liked it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> I looked forward to whatever food we had planned for after work. So that was nice rather than worrying about what we might have to muster up, which was good. Um, so prices aside, I actually quite really liked the meals that we chose and there's quite a wide range of meals you can choose um, for families uh, or if you want low calorie ones, that kind of thing. So the actual meals were good, um, but for the price, £20 is probably, even that's probably kind of a stretch. Yeah. And the novelty would probably wear off after a while. So I think one box every, I don't know, whenever a promotion's on. Yeah would be good but 
definitely not for what was it like 40 pound yeah 40 pound for five meals for two people yeah so like 10 meals and that's just dinners so we'd also have to go out and get lunches and breakfast as well so it'd probably come to like nearly 60 pound for a week we shop yeah, yeah. when we're trying to do well we've got 35 this week without doing hella fresh so that saves five pound on just dinners <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i liked it are we gonna rank the meals now i think so so i've just moved you back so you can see our cards so this is my order like my ranking that i'd put all the meals in so from best to worst or should i do worst to best worst to best yeah so my least favorite herbie pork ragu just because it's just like spaghetti it was nice to have a different kind of meat in it but it's still just a spaghetti next is the roast potato bacon and crispy kale salad i actually found this really nice it was something completely different to what we would make anyway and it had really good flavors and i actually really enjoyed it i'd probably make it again but there's just stuff that i enjoyed more well, we bought honey didn't we to make the carrots again yeah the carrots and that was really good next is the cheeseburger it's just who don't like a cheeseburger you know what i mean it was really nice the meat in it was really good because we used minced beef but it wasn't like minced beef that you bought from the shop it was like mushy it doesn't sound that nice <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound that nice but it was actually really good i think it's good quality meat as well don't you mm. yeah so second to the top is the beef quesadillas chili beef quesadillas these were really nice when we looked at the ingredients we didn't think there was a lot of meat in it and being meat lovers we were like these aren't going to be that good because there ain't much meat in it and most of it was filled with kidney beans which i'm not a fan of but when you add that chipotle paste to them it's different it hits different it's delicious and we will be making them again when we find some chipotle paste <laughs> and that leaves in first place mexican cheesy chicken burgers that that was just delicious again it had the chipotle paste i think that's what made them too really good but just it was just delicious that's all i can say just flavors flavorful mm. so as you can tell the actual meals were nice <laughs> it's just the price yeah it was like when you take everything into consideration it's not as good but the meals were good so stark contrast my worst one was <laughs> the, whatever it was mexican, mexican style yeah. chicken burger the uh, avocado just ruined it for me i'm not really a fan and it just tasted like earth <laughs> grass i really want an earthy <laughs> burger so that I'm was offended by that because it was so delicious that was number five number four is the crispy cow salad just because it was a surprise Otherwise, I might have put it last, but it was a nice <laughs> surprise, so that's nice. I don't think that one would have been as good if we weren't thinking it was going to be bad. <laughs> I don't, we got the box and we're like, why did we even pick this? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's just not something we'd usually get, but yeah. it was nice. Number three is the beef burger. It was very nice, especially like the coleslaw. Have a good crunchy coleslaw. So yeah, it's a strong <laughs> three. And number two is the uh ragu just because it was very thick pasta and i like pasta and it was <laughs> it was different i never had pork as a like a spaghetti type thing so that's nice it wasn't just pork it was herby pork mm. and when it says herby pork it's actually herby yeah. it didn't taste like pork did it and i made it so i was proud <laughs> and then so that leaves number one which is the quesadillas which were yeah, I thought there wasn't going to be enough, but it was so good. And we didn't need the chips, so we had it extra. Yeah, definitely. Because 
they were quite filling as well. Yeah. So, so that's my five. A bit so different. There you go. Bit of a contrast. The burger is definitely the best one. <laughs> if, if the avocado was taken out. I like the Maybe. avocado. It added a bit of zest to it. No. Okay, that's it. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so if you enjoyed watching what we had for our Hella Fresh box, please don't forget to leave a like down below and please leave a comment telling us which you think was the best, which was the worst, which you think you'd like to try. The burger. <laughs> And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well to keep up to date with all the new content coming out. Bye, Bye guys! guys. <laughs>